And we have coming to the podium now, uh, Clive and Charlene Cote. And we actually have a video that we'd like to tee up and uh, play at this time before we get into our discussion. That was some incredible footage. I can't believe you young people actually traveled to locations like that in order to get that footage. Uh, Clive, you are the media director for Lineage. I believe in our program guide it says Advantes, um, also or otherwise known as Lineage Productions. Share with us how this all started and what, what it is. So Lineage is, a, is an educational tool. We're trying to um, educate young people about the Reformation, about history, and how it's relevant to them today. So it's really an educational tool, um, showing them how important this history is and how it's preparing us for the future. And it basically started when I was reading The Great Controversy, and um, unfortunately, I was looking online for resources to do with The Great Controversy, and I was really struggling to find stuff that I could connect with. They were either really, really um, long or really, really old. So these videos- and really, really boring. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so these videos are really short. They're kind of like um, snapshots of, of the Reformation. They're five minutes long, and they're geared towards young people with an evangelistic appeal at the end so they can teach them how relevant this information is for them today. Oh, that's wonderful. And Charlene, you have something to add to that? Yes. Uh, what started off as a small project, um, all of these episodes have been, there's 100 in all, uh, season one and two, They've been translated into over 20 languages with subtitles and dubbed into four, with many more to come. So what started off as something just for the UK, actually, has blossomed and transformed around the world. And that seems to be some, a theme, something that you start off that you just want to affect just a few people if, if you're, you're praying for that, and somehow God just multiplies it. So tell us, who is on your team? What started off as two people, my husband Clive and uh, the presenter, Pastor Adam Ramden, um, quickly blossomed into 10 people, uh, all volunteers, everybody works full time. For example, um, Pastor Adam Ramden is the youth director of the North England Conference. Clive um, is the media director at Weimar Institute and everybody works for an organization that wonderfully support mission. So without the support of people we actually work full time with, we couldn't do this. And we use our spare time to be able to impact into this ministry because we're all passionate about young people and finishing the work. So speaking of impact, Clive, tell me, has anybody watched these videos? Yeah, so we have so many testimonies. Um, I got an email a couple of weeks ago of a, a lady who um, was not sent there Adventist and she started watch, watching the Reformation videos. And because the Reformation continues into Adventist history, um, at the end of the whole journey, she ended up um, joining a local church and getting baptized. Um, we also had another lady who was Adventist and her husband wasn't and she started watching the videos and at the end of the journey her husband got baptized as well. Um, we also heard uh, um, of them being played in prisons, in a pris uh, particular prison ministries using them and they're studying out the topics and then getting Bible studies and finally we had um, lots of you know, secular schools and, and Christian schools who are using the videos as a resource in their classrooms. But one in particular, we, we got a message from someone who, he's actually an Adventist, but he goes to a Catholic school. And um, the teacher is actually atheist. And he was sitting in class one day and the teacher just randomly started playing the videos. So we don't know how far these videos are going, to be honest. Now this atheist teacher 
was playing videos on the Christian, uh, the Reformation, which you said has an evangelistic appeal at the end. That's right. How is it that he came to uh, find and use that particular video? So as part of the curriculum that they were doing, they were um, studying a topic um, on Aiden. His name is Aiden. He used to evangelize England, and he had a training hub, a missionary island called um, Holy Island. So they were studying this topic, and um, the teacher was looking for online resources, so he punched it in Google and found our videos, and that's how they ended up watching it. My goodness. Now, aside from videos, are there any other resources that Lineage is working on? Yes, we have a website that we have set up as an educational tool. We found you went to many locations and you know the little placards that say what's going on. We found that history is actually being rewritten and we wanted to be able to provide a resource that is authentic, that actually portrays what, exactly what happened. So it's not just the videos, but we have somebody who works in Australia really hard to create excellent articles and further resources to every single episode that we have. We also have t-shirts, which are, have some light humor on them um, to keep things fun. We also have study guides that are coming. Um, so people can use these um, in their classrooms as further Bible study. And we also have a coloring book, an educational coloring book that is going to be, um, I think they're going to show a video of it, but it's, it's an incredible resource. We have a, an illustrator who has created custom drawings and by the side of each color, um, coloring page, there is information on exactly what happened. There's a QR code so you can go directly to the video. There's fun facts. We want to make history exciting for our young people. We want it to be accessible. Because history, if you, just, if you don't interact with it, it's dead. It's nothing. We can't learn from it. So we want our young people to be excited by it and to use these resources so they can get involved. Excellent. Clive, tell us, what's in the future? So in the future, we're planning to shoot a season three. Um, so if you look at season one, it's really the great controversy, Reformation and then Adventist history. But we want to go all the way back and cover patriots and prophets and then work our way up. So that's hopefully in the plans for the future, God willing. Okay, and that's the uh, project for funding uh, this year. That's right, yes. Okay, excellent. Right. Well, God bless you and everything that you're doing through Lineage to expose us to the history so that we understand better about what's coming for the future. Thank you. Thank you.